Okay, so more and more people are interested in filming their own hunts. So I just wanna cover a few basic tips or ideas of what you might wanna think about to get started filming your own hunts. So first off, let's talk a little bit about your camera. And so there's five main types of cameras that I would have you think about or maybe recommend. And first off, your cell phone. For a few reasons, one, your cell phone is always with you, so that means you're gonna always be able to pull it out and capture whatever's going on. And two, these cell phones actually produce really, really high quality video. Also, there's a few different video apps that you can use on your phone to unlock some even better video capabilities and options for you to record with. And if you're using a cell phone and you have a spotting scope, a great tool is to use what's called a phone scope. Just goes on to the end of your spotting scope and basically acts as a huge telephoto range lens to be able to capture far off animals, whether that's elk or deer or bears or whatever you might be hunting. Okay, so option number two is just a video camera, straight video camera, like a Sony Handycam, kinds that you'd see dads around Disney World with. And I'm actually filming on one right now. This is a higher end video camera, more professional one, but they make a lot of different options um, from professional down to regular beginner or consumer. The good things about video cameras is one, they're super easy to use. They're simple. Um, they have a zoom range in them. You just have one lens, so you don't have to worry about changing out lenses. It's just kind of an all-in-one, complete package, easy to learn, easy to use, and just really versatile in the field, which can be good for getting quick shots when something happens quick. All right, option number three is an action camera. This would be, you'd probably think of like a GoPro. They're super small, they're waterproof, and they're super durable. A couple drawbacks of a GoPro action style camera is you just have a super wide angle for the most part. You're not able to use different focal lengths like zooming in on an animal. You're just kind of wide the whole time. Second drawback on the action style cameras is the audio usually isn't the best. I think the new one, it's gotten a lot better, but it's still not as good as like an external microphone. All right, so next option for a camera would be a point and shoot style camera. These are the ones that look like a little small compact camera, but a lot of them have a flip screen so you're able to film yourself. A couple pros is they're super small, they're super lightweight. It's gonna just fit in your pocket kind of like a smartphone. And a lot of them have really, really great video features as well. Also while being able to actually film yourself and not needing somebody there to film you. And last option, for a camera that I would recommend would be a DSLR or mirrorless style camera. This option is gonna give you the best video quality of any of these cameras, you know, before you're jumping into like a cinema type. A lot of them have a microphone jack so you can get better, even better audio than you would get out straight out of camera. But there are a few drawbacks. One, it's gonna have the steepest learning curve out of all these cameras that I mentioned. Another drawback of these cameras is a lot of them can be pretty spendy, especially if you're buying multiple lenses to be able to reach different focal lengths of your hunt, being able to shoot wide landscape shots of your camp or the scenery, but also being able to stretch out and reach out to you know an elk that's hundreds of yards away. There's a lot of great companies that are making these DSLR or mirrorless cameras. A few would be Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, or Panasonic. And if I was just starting out, I'd maybe think about something in the Sony A6000 series or something like a Canon 80D. But probably the cheapest camera that I personally recommend to people that are just getting out in video specific is a Canon SL2. And these you can pick up for I think about $500 new. And there's a few things that I really like about it. It has really good autofocus, which helps you keep things in focus, whether you're filming yourself or filming someone else. Two, it has a flip screen, so you're able to flip out if you're filming yourself. Also being able to film different angles as well. Three, it has a microphone jack, which can improve your audio and make it a lot more crispy and just all around better quality. And this little camera lets you do slow motion video in high definition. 
So cameras, just like hunting gear, it's gonna come down to personal preference and your budget especially. So just find something that works for you, that's gonna be easy to use or that you're willing to invest in, not only your money, but also your time and just bring it along and, and try to learn that camera inside and out.